Welcome back. And with me is Leonard Smurgy. Uh, we're here at the Buckeye Farm Antiques uh, annual show. And, uh, you know, Leonard, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself uh, before we get into the history on, on well, you have a, a whole lot of a collection here, but in particular about this particular item. Well, um, thanks for having us. And, uh, yeah, we, uh, we have probably about 15 tractors here, and we've uh, been collecting them for probably 30, 40 years now. My dad started it, and, and we just uh, got into collecting, and, and we still do it and, and buy them and then just fix them up and then take them to the shows to uh, display. Well, you know, uh, not only do you uh, uh, fix these up, but some of these I think you actually actually use in your farm, right? Uh, we have a few of them that we still use on the farm, but most of uh, after we uh, restore them and fix them, uh, most of them just go into a collection and, and not get used again. We put uh, a lot of time into them, and uh, so uh, they just kind of come out of the, uh, the use of um, working. So they just go into a collection, and they stay there and just for the shows. So. Well, you know, uh, talking about shows and collection, uh, we're looking here at a at a very, I would say, a unique uh, piece of equipment here. Um, you know, this is a, a John Deere 40, and you see these as tractors, but you know, as a crawler. Yes, um, this one here is kind of unique. Uh, it had a blade on it when we got it. Um, very, very few of them probably. Most of them had blades and used for pushing dirt and stuff like that but most of them had wide front ends and the rear uh, narrow fronts. But this one here is very unique and it took us a long time to get this one done. We uh, took about 10 years from start to finish to, uh, to get this tractor done. We restored the engine, rebuilt the engine, everything's new on it, repinned the uh, track and uh, just a lot of time on uh, doing this one. This was, it was pretty rough when we got it and to get it in this shape, it took a long time to get it done. Well, you were sharing with me, you know, the time frame. Uh, you know, you, you, you could you could have had a child born and put him through college. <laughs> yeah, um, we did. Uh, we had um, we got tired of working on it, and it got set back in the barn, and um, it went back and forth of getting it done and not getting it done. And finally, um, we uh, said that we're going to get it done. And here, it took us a long time, but it, it turned out nice. And um, with all the help of my brothers and and uh, sons, and it was a it was a family. Um, family uh, tradition to uh, and it took a lot of people to uh, do what we did and uh, you know the, all the family I have like six brothers that did it and a lot of nephews that helped and it's a it's a family thing that we do um, so it takes a lot of time to get them done like this and uh, so you know we're appreciative of the, all the family that stays together and uh, we uh, we uh, do work on them quite a bit but yeah it's nice to get it done and, and have it done so yeah, you know, uh, a lot of a lot of times, you know, you, you see uh, uh, these 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 pieces of equipment, and uh, well, you know, they're, they're, they can be fairly common, like a John Deere B or a John Deere A, or you know, even the you know the H or the M's. But uh, uh, you know, this this is a really really unique piece. Yes, it is. Um, like I said, this is probably our rarest one that we have, um, the most unique one we have. So it, it it stays in the shed all the time and and uh, doesn't come out much. But to the shows, it, it's a nice piece for the show you know I, you did make a comment about uh, of course it looks nice now but I heard that you really originally when you brought it home uh, <laughs> uh, caught caught a lot of uh, uh, grief for that yeah my dad um, uh, he uh, let us have it when he um, when we brought it home it was a basket case and it was really really rough I mean the tracks were falling off of it and it was running on one cylinder it's only a two cylinder tractor and it was just a basket case of, of parts and everything and uh, uh, he after he got done and everything, he was really proud of it, but it was not a pretty sight when we got it. Well, Leonard, uh, it's been a pleasure ha uh, uh, talking you talking with us today, so uh, uh, thanks for being with us. Thank you, Alan. Thanks. At Poet, we're investing in the fields we have right here at home, cultivating communities and growing the local economy, creating new local jobs while we create worldwide energy solutions, helping family farms grow even as they fuel the world. Because we know that investing in a community can pay global dividends. See the world differently with Poet. Allen Davis Insurance Agency, with 30 years commitment to the community, providing quality insurance services. Allen is a business owner and an active farmer, and he knows firsthand the pressures of running your farming operation. Call Allen today and ask about coverage for your farm, your vehicles, your equipment, crops, and more. Call 1-800-686-2148. That's 1-800-686-2148. Automate your existing sliding doors with Propel Automation of Ohio. 
automate up to 60-foot twin sliding shed or barn doors with their award-winning patented system. And now Propel Automation of Ohio is part of Ohio AgriBility Program, allowing Ohio farmers and farm families who are coping with disabilities or long-term health conditions to automate their doors. For security, safety, convenience, remember Propel Automation of Ohio. Check us out on the web at PropelOhio.com. Joining us now is uh, Ray Smurgy uh, and uh, Ray's uh, with Smurgy and Sons and he's just going to talk a little bit about uh, how their whole family gets involved and uh, uh, I heard you say something about wrenches. Yeah, I collect uh, John Deere wrenches mainly and uh, there's something like 600 John Deere wrenches, one for every piece of equipment, especially wrenches and uh, I got about 400 some right now hanging on the wall so I'm still looking for wrenches. But uh, it's a family affair. Uh, we got six brothers in it and uh, grandsons and uh, nephews and we all all collect uh, a little bit of John Deere. Well you know uh, if it, it once 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 you kind of uh, get it in your blood it's kind of like farming too you know once you get it in your blood you can't hardly get it out. That's right we started with John Deere equipment and uh, still farm with John Deere's. Well Ray you know we kind of talked about what you, what you collect and and you know so what's your background and you know uh, I mean obviously somebody had to get get the bug and get started somewhere. Well, we for started in farming we started farming and uh, we like the old two cylinders farm with, and then went up to the four cylinders and six cylinders. But uh, we got our dad's original 50 John Deere he bought new, and uh, we kind of keep that in the shed. We still play with that a little bit, but uh, we're all shade tree mechanics, and we uh, try to keep them going. And it's a chore to keep everything up, and batteries and gas, and gas goes bad pretty fast, and and rubber, you know, just a lot of upkeep on them. So that's where we're at now. Yeah, you know, uh, just much like the the theme of the uh, Buckeye Farm Antiques show, yours is a family affair. That's right. We try to keep it that way. It makes peace in the family. <laughs> well, you know, you can't help but notice, you know, you have it on the, on the front and the back of your shirts. That's right. We are pretty proud of that. Well, Ray, thanks for being with us today. Okay, thank you much. Thanks for having us. Welcome to the 30-second tour of your local poet plant. Local producers sell us tons of their grain. We grind it, mix it with water and special enzymes. The result is fermented, distilled, and dehydrated until it's 200 proof alcohol. Corn oil is extracted, and protein and nutrients are condensed, dried, and turned into animal feed, bringing our tour to an end with high protein feed and cleaner burning high octane fuel. Visit Poet.com to learn more. Automate your existing sliding doors with Propel Automation of Ohio. Automate up to 60-foot twin sliding shed or barn doors with their award-winning patented system. And now Propel Automation of Ohio is part of Ohio AgriBility Program, allowing Ohio farmers and farm families who are coping with disabilities or long-term health conditions to automate their doors. For security, safety, convenience, remember Propel Automation of Ohio. Check us out on the web at PropelOhio.com. I'm Terry McClure, a fifth generation soybean farmer. Farming can be tough, but we have the Ohio Soybean Council investing farmers dollars to find new uses for soybeans. Their research helps develop better beans for livestock, poultry, and for people. It also helps create new products like soy-based cleaning supplies and ink cartridges, plus cleaner burning soy biodiesel reduces our dependence on foreign oil. Soybeans are Ohio's number one agricultural export. To learn more, visit SoyOhio.org. Allen Davis Insurance Agency, with 30 years commitment to the community, providing quality insurance services. Allen is a business owner and an active farmer, and he knows firsthand the pressures of running your farming operation. Call Allen today and ask about coverage for your farm, your vehicles, your equipment, crops, and more. Call 1-800-686-2148. That's 1-800-686-2148. Hello once again, everyone, and welcome to Plain City. It's the Miami Valley Steam Threshers annual event. We're visiting with one of the directors, Gary Gallimore. Gary, well, my gosh, you know, I, as we talked a little bit before we started uh, uh, videoing today's uh, program, uh, mentioned the fact that this is one of those things that brings back a lot of nostalgia. There's quite a bit of history here. Uh, folks enjoy coming here, uh, meeting old friends and reminiscing. Yes, absolutely. And that's what the show's all about. And, and I wouldn't be interested at all if it wasn't for the fellowship and the educational purpose of this show. Now, how many people would you say uh, come here and exhibit some of the uh, old tractors and various kinds of uh, farm equipment, implements? Oh gosh, I'd hate to say, we've probably got 400 uh, gas tractors here on the grounds this year. Uh, 
the steam engines we're actually uh, uh, featuring uh, scale models this year so we've probably got uh, near 50 steam engines uh, full grown and scale models and and the small engine area is uh, three to four hundred units out there. Well, Gary, every year I know that you highlight a, a different brand or different make. Uh, how do you determine that? Well, you know, I guess it's just in the meeting somebody uh, says, well, let's do this, and that's the way it is, and, and uh, we are actually booked about four years out on a continuous basis. Well, now you have uh, various events that go on during this uh, annual event. One of the highlights I know are the uh, tractor pulls and just making some of that old equipment work. Yeah, we have, uh, we're actually uh, pulling uh, our show tractors today and tonight we've got uh, five classes of uh, pretty hot stuff that, out of uh, Central Ohio Tractor Pullers Association and tomorrow afternoon or starting tomorrow morning I guess uh, the Ohio State Antique Tractor Pullers will have a big show here. We also thrash wheat uh, several times each day and saw, run the sawmill, of course. And so there's a lot to see and do out here. And, and uh, it's amazing. We've got a beautiful park here and a lot of shade. So it's worth the trip to come and see it. As folks come here and you have a chance to visit with them year after year, what would be the highlight, would you say? Or, or is it so varied that you can't pinpoint one thing? It, it, it's really varied. It's, uh, everybody comes for a different reason. And, and like I said, I, I enjoy the old iron. And, and if I didn't, I wouldn't be here, of course. Uh, the steam engine still amazed me after all being around them all these years. It's still an amazement to see that power work. Uh, but you talk to 100 different people that comes through the gate, and they'll give you 100 different answers on that. Well, of course, you can see some uh, pretty large pieces of equipment here, but also some miniature. So, you know, if some of that size uh, makes you a little wary of getting too close, you can go up to some of the miniatures and, and uh, see how things work. Yeah, absolutely. And we've got an, a uh, fellow's got an eighth scale steam engine that's all hand built, and it's amazing. It, it runs. Uh, he builds a fire in the firebox every morning and it runs and he belts to a little baker fan that he built himself and, and it's an amazing project you know and, and that's the way most of this stuff is and some of these tractors are getting toward 100 years old and they ran possibly better than they did when they were brand new. Of course there's a lot to see for uh, members of the entire family uh, young and old alike and when you're here for a, a length of time uh, I know the the taste buds start to uh, uh, pull you toward one food vendor over another and and you've got quite a, a little bit of variety there as well we have a nice variety of food and as you can see by my build that I like to eat pretty well uh, a little bit of everything we've got uh, pulled pork and brisket that is as good as you can get uh, corn on the cob, uh, old-fashioned bologna sandwiches, clear down to ice cream. Uh, if you're hungry for something different, come to the show. We'll fix you up. You know, Gary, also, uh, it's very easy to get to the, the actual site uh, here near Plain City right off of 42. Yes, uh, we're actually between what used to be the old State Route 42 and the new Highway 42, and right here to north edge of Plain City, and and uh, uh, you folks that likes to eat and go to Amish cooking of the Dear Dutchman, well, we're on the opposite end of town of Dear Dutchman. Very good. Well, uh, as we close off our uh, visit today, is there anything if folks would like to maybe next year plan to come? What, what would be some key reasons to come to the Miami Valley Steam Threshers event? The Buckeye Alice club is really pushing to do this they have got a lot of flyers out already so i would say it's going to be the largest show that we've ever had and also the largest show that uh, the gathering of the orange has ever had so we're getting pretty excited about that already and and uh, there again come out and see all the demonstrations and the hundred year old steam engines that's running yet and there's just a lot here to see a lot of flea markets along with that well excitement and interest and uh a lot of history to be viewed once you come to the Miami Valley Steam Threshers annual event here near Plain City. Gary Gallimore has been our guest. Gary, thanks for being with us. Thank you, Gary. I appreciate it. The Keeping It Country Farm is a private venue hosting traditional country music. It also offers a dinner theater setting perfect for your next event. The Keeping It Country Farm is home of the Richard Lynch Band. 
And for more information about the Keeping It Country Farm, the Richard Lynch Band, Lynch Auctioneers, Lynch Builders, and Farm Products, check us out on the web at keepingitcountryfarm.com. That's keepingitcountryfarm.com. Automate your existing sliding doors with Propel Automation of Ohio. Automate up to 60-foot twin sliding shed or barn doors with their award-winning patented system. And now Propel Automation of Ohio is part of Ohio AgriBility Program, allowing Ohio farmers and farm families who are coping with disabilities or long-term health conditions to automate their doors. For security, safety, convenience, remember Propel Automation of Ohio. Check us out on the web at PropelOhio.com. Allen Davis Insurance Agency, with 30 years commitment to the community, providing quality insurance services. Allen is a business owner and an active farmer, and he knows firsthand the pressures of running your farming operation. Call Allen today and ask about coverage for your farm, your vehicles, your equipment, crops, and more. Call 1-800-686-2148. That's 1-800-686-2148. Welcome back. We're here at the annual Buckeye Farm Antiques tractor show and with me is Doug Smurgy and uh, Doug's uh, standing here uh, uh, with uh, a tractor that's pretty near and dear to his heart uh, you know some tractors have a connection some don't this one does have a lot of connection for you but you want to tell us a little bit about yourself Doug and uh, and then we can kind of talk a little bit about your connection with the tractor um, hi my name is Doug Smurgy uh, here with uh, Smurgy and Sons uh, here uh, with uh, we bring all the tractors here. I'm the, one of the grandsons of uh, all the brothers that are the owners of all these. Uh, so we, uh, I'm with uh, all the uh, brothers of the tractors. Well, you know, uh, every like I said, some tractors have connections and some don't. But this one uh, has a special connection to you, and I'd like you to just tell us a little bit about that. Well, this uh, tractor came from my grandpa, uh, Dan Chaub. He, we farmed on it, uh, bailed. I was behind the baler with it many acres, bailed a bunch of acres of straw with it while he drove and even before I was there they drove it and he stacked behind it. Um, one day we kind of, we got a bigger baler and this quite couldn't handle it. So it kind of got retired back to the shed. We ran the auger with it and stuff like that. Um, come to a time while well, the head gasket went out in it. So it kind of got put on the back burner and really didn't get used. I wanted to use it and grandpa said, well, I'll give it to you. I said, take it on your project yourself redo it, you know, get it running again, and uh, he said, you can have it. I, I, I was flying on cloud nine at the time. I was 12 years old, and I, I had a tractor, and I, I wanted to do something with it. So we uh, got a new, uh, we redid the motor, um, got a new head, got it running. I redid the, a lot of gaskets in it, so I wanted to use it. I cultivated probably 50 acres of corn with it. I wanted to work all the tweaks out before I got it all repainted, because I didn't want it to leak or anything like that. So. Um, after about three years of using it, getting all the tweaks worked out of it, got it running good, and uh, me and my dad decided to, uh, we're going to restore it. It took a little over a year to get it all um, sanded down, power wash, you know, all the stuff, the hard labor that goes into it, uh, the amount of labor hours that you have and stuff like this. Um, my dad paints all of our tractors. Um, he does a wonderful job. And it was a kind of a family thing again. Um, with my dad's a painter, other uncles, they work on the motors. I mean, each brother has their own specialty in our, uh, in our uh, family. So, I mean, it's nice that all of us are together and one can come over and help us um, figure out the whole situation. So, yeah, I'm real grateful for my grandpa giving to this to me. Um, he, uh, he seen, we took a picture of it before um, we uh, restored it, got that. And uh, he, uh, we took a picture after, and he passed away this last February. And I put him back on the seat to drive it home one day. His eyes lit up, and he was so proud, not of just me, but just to seeing what it could be. So yeah, that, that made me feel good too. That, so yeah, that's a little bit of story what, behind this one. It's pretty close to the heart, and uh, it uh, will never leave. Well, you know, uh, you know, Doug, that's a. Uh, uh, Always something, as I said, with a lot of with a lot of these pieces of equipment. Either you, like me, you drove them when you were a kid, or you have some connection. And you know, uh, you know, my grandfather owned this piece of equipment or owned that piece of equipment. So uh, it was nice visiting with you. Thanks for being with us today. Hey, thank you guys. Appreciate it for being here. Some prefer to invest in fields halfway around the world, in short-term solutions to long-term challenges. 
At Poet, we're investing in the fields we have right here at home. Cultivating communities and growing the local economy. Creating new local jobs while we create worldwide energy solutions. Helping family farms grow even as they fuel the world. Because we know that investing in a community can pay global dividends. See the world differently with Poet. Hello once again, everybody. We're visiting with Adam Heckeman of Silver Lake, Indiana. Adam, tell us a little bit about your club here. You've got a couple of farm malls and looks like uh, maybe a little bit of ice cream at the end of the line. Yeah, our club is based out of Warsaw, Indiana. Uh, it's called the Echoes of the Past. And basically what we do is we just like to play. But if we're going to play with our tractors, we like to raise a little bit of money. And with that money, we donate it back to a lot of uh, uh, organizations such as the 4-H, uh, the FFA, and or some uh, elementary school groups that have tractor clubs that we, we like to support. So any dime that we raise off of the ice cream machines, that's what we do with it. And I guess you uh, can give these to organizations. And you yourself, the organization, uses the money, I believe, to help support the, the kids at the county fair. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, we have a 4-H auction fund. And, and every dime that we make off the, uh, the, the donations that are raised from the ice cream machine, basically we take and uh, we go and bid on uh, livestock at the auction of kids that don't have a lot of support. And uh, it's, it's really rewarding to be able to do something great with that money. Now, how long has this been going on? Uh, the club's been around for a lot of years. It started in the uh, early 90s, and uh, it's kind of progressed into a larger club. We currently have around 75 members, and uh, you know, for the last three years, we've been donating a lot to 4-H auction, but before that, it was just mainly community organizations that we donated to. So. Well, you say you like to have a lot of fun, and you say you have about 75 members, so do you fight about who gets to come out here and have all this fun? Well, not, not really. I mean, uh, we have different events, such as plow days. We all have... Uh, tractors obviously and we like to play with them so what we do is we have a, a plot of land every year that we go out and we all have the old uh, antique two single bottom plows and uh, we go out and have a lot of fun plowing ground so we do that and uh, we also have different events throughout the year such as a tractor show we do once a year at the county fair and uh, you know such events like this making ice cream so so whoever decides to come out and volunteer at, a, at an event is that person does that person choose the tractors that are used yeah, we use a mix uh, of tractors. It really, uh, whoever is available to come out and make the ice cream, a lot of our, us members, not just a certain group of guys that does it every time, but yeah, we've hooked uh, two cylinder John Deere's up to these. We've hooked co ops. It's just whatever uh, we got available to run this ice cream machine. So, and the ice cream machine is kind of unique. We can actually run 10 gallons at a time. We've got two five gallon uh, ice cream freezers, and it's a homemade mix that we mix up. And uh, the contraption that we use is made from uh, the members of the club designed it and developed it, and uh, so now we can mix 10 gallons of ice cream at one time. Well, I, I was going to say you have a lot of fun, and you, you get to play with your tractors and, and all of that, but you need to have a good finished product to keep people coming back. Yeah, that's exactly right. we got to have something that tastes good and looks good and, uh, and uh, attract the people, so that's what we're here for. It's Adam Heckman in Silver Lake, Indiana. Indiana, that's right. Has, has been our guest. Adam, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you very much. Allen Davis Insurance Agency, with 30 years commitment to the community, providing quality insurance services. Allen is a business owner and an active farmer, and he knows firsthand the pressures of running your farming operation. Call Allen today and ask about coverage for your farm, your vehicles, your equipment, crops, and more. Call 1-800-686-2148. That's 1-800-686-2148. The Keepin' It Country Farm is a private venue hosting traditional country music. It also offers a dinner theater setting, perfect for your next event. The Keepin' It Country Farm is home of the Richard Lynch Band. And for more information about the Keepin' It Country Farm, the Richard Lynch Band, Lynch Auctioneers, Lynch Builders, and Farm Products, check us out on the web at keepinitcountryfarm.com. That's keepinitcountryfarm.com. The lazy river by the old mill run The lazy, lazy river in the noonday sun Lingered in the shade of a kind old tree Throw away your troubles, dream a dream of me Up the lazy river where the robin song Awaits the bright new morning where we can loaf along Blue skies up above Everyone's in love Up the lazy river How happy you could be Up the lazy river
lazy river with me Up a lazy river by the old mill run The lazy, lazy river in the noonday sun Linger in the shade of a kind old tree Throw away your troubles Dream a dream with me, oh Up a lazy river where the robin song Oh, waste the bright new morning Where we can love along Blue skies up above Everyone's in love Up a lazy river How happy you could be Up a lazy river with me going to do it for this week's edition of In Ohio Country Today. If you'd like more information about today's show, drop us a line. Check us out on the web at inohiocountry.com. That's inohiocountry.com. Have a good day, everybody.